Hi, I'm Brian Ernie, and this is The Baseball Show, presented by Pepsi Max. I'm here with 14-year Major League veteran Frank Calinato. Frank, thanks for joining us. Good to be here. So it can be one of the peskiest plays in baseball, the bunt single. Frank, you weren't a huge bunter, but was there ever a time where you tried to lay one down? Yeah, I wasn't a huge bunter, but uh, there were times, times especially when I was slumping. If I was in an 0 for 15 slump and felt like I'd never get a hit again, I'd keep an eye on that third baseman. And if the third baseman was back, I'd go ahead and give it a shot and try to get a, a cheap hit. Well, take us through the technique of getting that hit. Um, what's, where, how did, were your hands? What were you trying to do? Well, I would wait until the pitcher showed that the ball was on its way, and, and then I would take this left foot towards the pitcher. Now I have my momentum going towards first base and try to push it that way to third base. I, I never really liked going to the first base side with it because you really had to make sure you got it past the pitcher. You didn't get it past him, you were out. So we hear people talk about sacrifice bunting where they let the bat sort of catch the baseball. Um, when you're bunting for a hit, it's a little different, a little more aggressive. A little more aggressive. You're really trying to steer the ball towards the spot where you want to uh, hit it. And uh, you know, you're gonna keep your hands a little bit closer to your body on the, on the push or the drag, and then that way you can just push it out there and, uh, and try to get a hit. Well, let's take a look at the guys last year that did this the best, best in the business at pushing down that bunt for a hit. You'll see right here, you were a lefty, so you'll sympathize with this, that the lefties have an advantage. Oh, they have a, a great advantage. Again, you know, you're gonna be running out of the, the batter's box, so you get a running start. The right-handers don't get a running start. Uh, and as we see on this list, all these guys are speedsters. Well, let's take a look at who's been doing this well this year. These are the most bunt hits through the All-Star break, and you see Juan Pierre's name pop up again. No surprise at all. He's one of the best in the business today, and uh, he just has a real good knack of being able to place the ball wherever he wants. He's got a good, loose grip on the bat, and when you have a, a loose grip and you, you hold the bat between your thumb and your pointer finger, uh, it's a, you're able to deaden the ball. So the ball just comes and it just drops and dies right where he wants it to, to die. Talk about the best in the business. Uh, who was the best you ever saw laying one down for a hit? Kenny Lofton, no doubt. You know, when Kenny Lofton was playing with the Indians, he was the best and it was tough to defend. Uh, again, he was a left-handed hitter. He was able to come out of the box and he was running. He was a speedster and he, uh, he really could place the ball wherever he wanted. He caused a lot of confusion. Well, let's talk about that confusion on defense, first base, second base. You played them both, and there's a lot going on there in these situations. So what was it like trying to defend this? It was really tough to defend because a guy like Kenny, he was able to place it in between the first baseman, second baseman, and the pitcher. And also, if he went the other way, he was able to place it between the pitcher, third baseman, and shortstop. And, uh, you know, when you have three guys going for the ball, especially on the first base side, you're not going to have a guy covering first base. And a lot of times he was running down there without a, a first baseman or somebody uh, covering the base. These players have wreaked havoc on defenses so far. Let's see if they can keep it up in the second half. I'm sure they will. Thanks for joining us today on the Baseball Show, presented by Pepsi Max.